Good day. This is a general career and money message for those with North Node in Aquarius. You could be watching for yourself or for someone else. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Make sure you use these messages for self-awareness and for high vibrational purposes only. This is for employed, self-employed, both or unemployed North Node in Aquarius Collective. Universe, let's get that line. Abundance message for my North Node in Aquarius Collective. North Node in Aquarius. North Node in Aquarius, you guys are experiencing grief due to changes in companionships and it's affecting your money and career. Someone needs to balance their heart chakra really, really bad. Cleanse, clear, and balance your heart chakra to improve your career and money, okay? It says divine flow. Eventually, one sublime desire takes precedence over all others. So follow the Tao, the divine flow, at all costs. So you're having some changes in partnerships and relationships and possibly in your career and in your money. You need to go with the divine flow. North Node in Aquarius. What's the sacred wealth code message for my North Node in Aquarius? Universe says, the engineer, every problem has a solution, North Node and Aquarius. Make sure you're being productive and focused, practical and analytical. Somebody was too far deep in their root chakra that whatever they were manifesting was not of the divine. So that's why it was changes, grief, and losses, okay? Somebody was engineering problems instead of solutions, and they were very loyal to creating problems, engineering problems. So now North Node and Aquarius, what the universe wants you to do is be a channel for discovering a better way. Discover and apply better paths of action for positive change in the world. I feel like you were connected to someone that was very negative, aggressive, arrogant, and self-judging, and you found yourself being spiritually cut off, and your ego could have actually been taken over. So that's why you were so stressed and running the same negative thought loops over and over, unable to make a decision to save your life.
What does my employed for a company or organization, North Node and Aquarius, most need to know when it comes to their career and money? There is an energy that no longer wants to have control over a situation when it comes to work. Like somebody's really tired of hearing gossip and tired of hearing about somebody being stressed and burdened when they're only stressed because they created their own problems. This could be a coworker. Either somebody's tired of hearing you complain about problems or either you're tired of hearing about somebody complaining about their problems. Maybe you used to work with this person. This was an old coworker, but they got terminated because they were stealing or lying or being deceptive at work. could have worked in a field of child care together or something like that and some things changed for you this could be an old co-worker but y'all still text and you know communicate with each other or whatever what does the employed north node and aquarius most need to know when it comes to their career and money What does North know? Thank you. Okay, so you're you're also gonna have some changes that could possibly happen overnight when it comes to your career or money. You've been doing some research and you seen that it was an ending to an idea. Someone was trying to engineer a delay of something, but the universe stopped it and somebody had to walk away from that idea. The thought of that idea, listen, the thought of that idea is what caused the tower, just so you know, okay? Mm. What does North Node and Aquarius that's employed with a God agency? <laughs> with an agency or organization or company, most need to know North Node and Aquarius for money and career. What does North Node and Aquarius? Thank you. Yeah. So, North Node and Aquarius. We have Queen of Pentacles. And hermits, okay? Let's see if there's one more for you. The death card, okay? All right. So North Node and Aquarius that's employed with an organization or a company, uh, like we just discussed, the universe wants you to know that there are going to be uh, changes. Could also be a breakthrough of some sort. And just remember that this is clearing the path for something greater for you to be aligned with. Okay, These changes is allowing you to be in the divine flow. So continue to be loyal and analytical and determined and competent remember that every problem has a solution and right now at your place of employment the universe wants you to be part of a greater solution for the good of all okay not just one person and a peoples or this group and that group but for all okay so during this tower the universe advises that you are in a queen of pentacles energy which is 
making positive strides, listening to your intuition, and making wise choices. Okay? Make wise choices. Now, when you're doing what makes you feel empowered, make sure you're doing it out of a nurturing, dependable, focused, creative energy, less competitive, more generous. Okay? And then in the near future, we have this hermit card. So in the near future, you're going to need to take some space to connect to your own natural intelligence and block out the opinions of others. You don't need anybody else's permission to move ahead is what the universe wants you to know. Whatever is coming to you, work alone. That's what's best for you right now. And then we have the death card. In the near future, work alone because you are being advised that there are going to be cycles of renewal and transformation in your workplace. Some people may be moving on from this workplace. Somebody is in a marriage that has them in bad health and despair or just a commitment. What's the tower for my employed North Node in Aquarius? What's the tower? What's the tower? What's the tower? It's going to be changes in the marital status of either you or a co-worker. Maybe somebody's spouse is going to come to the job or something. What's Queen of Pentacles? Unexpected income. Maybe you or your co-worker is going to get a divorce. Or, no. oh. oh, yeah, that's the message. Listen. Whatever commitments that you have at this job, the universe is about to change some things. While these changes are undergoing way, whatever unexpected income you get, you need to be focused, practical, and analytical on how you're going to be nurturing and generous in a situation that comes to you. Only you know what that situation is going to be because the universe is only going to tell you And remember to always be in the divine flow. You have to work alone on whatever idea, project, situation that comes about that's being presented to you. If you do not work alone and you involve others, it's not going to be in divine flow. Be in divine flow and work by yourself. What's the death? Whatever is going on at work with a gentleman, with the main male, maybe they're going to get fired. Maybe they're going to lose a job or, or go to a different department. It's a situation in your workplace that you're aware of, but you don't need to be paying attention to that because whatever problems that was created out of that sacral chakra being too much in the root chakra, being too much worried about greed 
and manifesting things for only certain groups of people, not all, but just certain ones, the universe is transforming that situation. So what you need to be aware of is being the leader, boss, mentor, nurturing person that you are, you need to work alone. Even if you do get an unexpected income, you don't need to tell anybody. You need to go with what the universe tells you to do. So that's for the, the employed North Node in Aquarius. Let's go to the unemployed North Node Aquarius Collective. What does my unemployed North Node and Aquarius Collective most need to know when it comes to career and money? Unemployed North Node and Aquarius, y'all are uh, very much so in your head and feeling defeated because you don't have any money due to being under judgment. You let your ego get the best of you. You let addictions and illusions and toxicity and chasing after being looking like the man not even being the man or woman you were too busy on trying to look like the man that you weren't focused on being an emperor on the inside okay for whatever reason that was wishful thinking the universe said wishful thinking so you caused a lot of difficulties in situations uh, being naive while you're unemployed so yeah what else does unemployed north node and aquarius most need to know unemployed north node and aquarius collective yes yeah, so you have the hermits and the emperor unemployed north node and aquarius if you are trapping out of your house you're being watched so you may want to rethink your associations or else you're going to end up going to jail. There's a feminine energy that comes back and forth to a trap house. And maybe you know she does spell work because you working with her. Or you think she's a healer or something like that. She doesn't work for the police. She works for the devil, but that's what's going to get the police to come to you, if that makes sense. What does the unemployed North Node and Aquarius most need to know at this time? What else? Other than the hermits and the emperor, what else? Or even if it's not show house, but it's a trap house. Maybe it's your, your uh, lady friend house. Either way it go, it's that's all bad. Because they doing some... Okay, so listen. The feminine energy... Maybe you know she do magic or maybe you don't know she do magic. Either way it goes, she's she's being watched by higher ups because of some type of magic she did. So again, with you being in association with that person, you're going to be in a flow of it all right. You're going to be in a flow of problems from associating with whoever that feminine energy is. Whoever watches this knows what feminine energy I'm talking about. Her and her friends. What's the, uh, what else for North Node and Aquarius when it comes to their career and money? I'll take it. Nine of Wands. Any others? Any others? Oh, this flipped out. Hmm. And then we have the chariots. Okay. All right, so unemployed North Node in Aquarius. Let's start off with this Hermit card. Now, you know the Hermit card means breaking away from chaos, working alone, 
it's best at this time, just like I told the employed um, North Node and Aquarius in the near future, they're going to have to work alone. The universe says you need to be working alone now and make sure you block out the opinions of others. Um, you may need to block out the opinion of whoever this emperor is that feels like they have personal power over you. You need to speak up for yourself and be more aggressive either in this career that you are looking to do. Or job that you're wanting. In the near future, whatever cycle of conflict is going to be coming to an end. So wrap up and finish strong your job search. In the near future, you're going to be moving forward. And the chariot energy unemployed north node in Aquarius. You are going to be moving forward. Just make a clear and concise business plan while also intuitively taking action towards your financial and career goals. Remember that success comes with and from focus, determination, and clear intention. Unemployed North Node in Aquarius, I feel like your intentions are to be spiritually aligned. Like that's really important to you. Like you want to be able to create and prosper on the 3D realm. So maintain your spiritual connection to your angels and ancestors when it comes to problem solving and designing to create a better future for all. You've been you've been paying attention and being in the flow of people that are gifted and they focus on results and they're hard workers and use critical thinking, but they're negative, they're arrogant, they're aggressive and self-judging. And remember that's their ego taking over. That's how they've been spiritually cut off. But you are not cut off. You are a master of energy. But your energy must be productively channeled. Okay? Let's clarify this hermit. What's hermit? It's a group of, of females that are being watched for uh, financial things, they're concerned. I think they want you to be a part of their... Op yeah, look, I told you. Listen, it's an ending for those group of females, okay? This is all they're going to end up. Unless you want to end up here too, you need to speak up for yourself and just do whatever you've been doing alone because you got message in reverse, unexpected income in reverse. Whoever these problematic females are, they're not going to tell you they no longer are able to get money the way that they've been doing it. So all they're doing is feeding off of your energy. You around a bunch of energy thieving females or masculines, male or female, take it how it resonate. These people are no longer running the operation that you thought they were running. They just have you there for them to feed off of you because you're an emperor.
somebody needs to be trying to figure out what they're going to do about a legal situation. It could have something to do with child support um, or theft. What's Emperor from Unemployed North Node Aquarius? Thank you. Yeah, you really the head man in charge. Again, they're just feeding off of you. They're not contributing to a solution to any problems that you have. These individuals aren't even in divine flow. So that's why the universe says, eventually, one desire takes precedence over all others. And that is to follow the divine flow at all costs. Divine being D-I-V-I-N-E, not D-E-V-I-N-E, but D-I-V-I-N-E. There is a difference. What's Nine of Wands? Yeah. When it comes to that work and reputation and whatever job that you're wanting to go for, what did I say about the Nine of Wands in the near future? In the near future, whatever type of reputation, job, career that you're going for, your hard work will pay off. And that conflict is going to be coming to an end, so don't give up. And what's the chariot? What's the chariot for my unemployed North Node in Aquarius? That's a lot. What's the chariot? Yeah, somebody's fucking with an undercover cop, by the way. Could be a cancer female. That's just low vibrational as fuck. Move away from that person. Okay? Move away from that person. Even if it's a family member, your sister, your little, your little brother, baby, mama, cousin, move away. And if you got a family, y'all get the fuck away. Because that person has a lot of problems coming their way. And it's going to affect your lifestyle when it comes to your career and money. What does my self-employed entrepreneur, North Node and Aquarius Collective, most need to know? What does my self-employed entrepreneur, North Node and Aquarius most need to know? What does my self-employed entrepreneur North Node and Aquarius most need to know? For the most part, entrepreneur North Node and uh, Aquarius, you feel like you know what you're doing, which is good. So the universe says, speak up, share your message, and transform lives through your work. You had transition, but it flew out in reverse. So there's nothing, there's no changes that's going to require you to shift your ways of thinking and doing business. So obviously you've already embraced some changes you didn't resist. You didn't resist some type of offer when it came to your business to create. How can you break some rules? Interesting. What up? Oh. Hmm. Oh, you didn't trust somebody that was trying to get you fucked up and you, you get your, your business messed up uh, when it comes to the money. Okay, good. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just take these three. Let's take these three. Take center stage, share your message, transform lives through your work. Don't resist changes. Even though there may not be any changes coming. And get creative in your business when it comes to breaking rules. What what do we have here? For entrepreneur North Node and Aquarius. What speak? So you are an engineer. Somebody tried to put it into your business being a false person. Yep. Share your message, whoever you are, North Node and Aquarius. Speak up. Be technical too. That's that's the that's how you're gonna be in the divine flow. Yeah, look. Somebody tried to make you and your business out. Somebody tried to make you out to be a false entrepreneur, and you were able to create something that basically shut that shit down. What's create? Let's create for self-employed. Yeah, you, you create a judgment for these liars. Your business was able to break some rules in whatever niche it was that these false people now have to deal with the problems that they created. Hmm. They were blindfolded to the fact that the wheels were turned and that self-care and self-love can very well be a solution to a lot of problems. Not overindulging and over drinking and whoever these individuals were, it was a, it was probably about three, three to eight individuals that went against your business, spoke out against your business caused illusions about your business so that you would no longer be able to work and be an entrepreneur and now they're all under judgment what's speak and privileged lady what's speak and privileged lady so when it comes to your work and business you have the knight of wands and then the sun Okay, so when it comes to you speaking, whether at conferences or just giving speeches, even if it's online or something like that, the universe wants you to know that speak about any self-doubts that you could have had. Like speak about how you had a specific goal or situation that didn't go the way you thought they would go but also how you decided to take a better course of action and also use patience and made time to tune into your intuition. So the universe wants you to be a divine feminine or divine masculine talking about how others try to create self-doubt within your business, but you came out the sun. You came out the sun. You came out as a model for business. Your business is going to be a role model for children and families. And you're also going to have a good generation of revenue. Keep your mind open to new ideas about business models. Also, when it comes to your revenue, because you about that you you've engineered some money, baby. I didn't even notice there's some purple all up in here, and it's purple in here. Your crown chakra, the universe. This was definitely divinely guided. Yeah, look. Mm. You're gonna get exactly what they didn't want you to get. And this is what they're getting. Look, you're getting the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And they're getting the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Swords. 
some of these individuals have already gotten that message. Oh, that they did not um, create good karma when it came to not walking away from trying to block your business. They tried to block your platform, your website from new customers. They should have walked away from that, but they did not. Because they're false people. And your angels came and said, uh, yeah, no. What's this uh, false person in reverse and transition in reverse? Yeah, you're getting karmic justice. You got the will of fortune in reverse, empress in reverse, hierophant in reverse, and justice. So whoever these fake people were that was trying to change your way of doing and thinking about your business and your entrepreneurship journey, they are currently going through instability with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They have blocked masculine and feminine energy and difficulties in relationships and in, in situations with the empress in reverse. Some of these people have forced pregnancies and their karma is going to be them being left when their partners find out that they used magic to manipulate a relationship and pregnancy. Then you have the hierophants in reverse, which means them resisting to have an open mind has caused roadblocks in their careers. So if they have a business and an entrepreneur and try to block people from coming to your business, God is taking away all of their finances with this hierophant in reverse this is the end that's justice in this situation so you remember that the universe has fair agreements being made and disputes being resolved speak your truth within your business any legal matters that you take towards these people you will have a positive outcome What's creating judgment for my self-employed entrepreneurs, North Node and Aquarius? Mm -hmm, yeah, they trying, to, they trying to juggle the truth now. In whatever court situation that they in, they trying to juggle the truth and figure out, well, you said, and, and well, I didn't pay for that spell. You paid for what I said that your yeah, angel said, uh uh, no, no, no. You created the problem. We're here for the solution. Go celebrate that. Yeah. It's three people in particular who are very fucked up right now. Excuse my language. What's create and judication? Create and judication for my entrepreneur, North Node and Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they not only did they celebrate trying to create judgment on your business, whoever did the most spell work, that's who the angels is returning that returning that magic to. And the people that they were working with is like, why did you lie to us? Why would you exaggerate something like that? Like they exaggerated other factors in your life um what you do for business how you take care of your children or how you take care of yourself or if you really have gifts and all kinds of shit they they basically manufacture a bunch of bullshit that's being returned to them while they're under judgment any other messages regarding create and adjudication so keep doing what you're doing in your business and definitely Speak out about this. 
Okay, speak out about this. Speak about how you manifested new beginnings and you still manifested your goals and independence, even though you had people throwing towers at you, trying to have you in fear, trying to have you stressed out and feeling like, is my business going to make it? How am I going to pay this bill? Male or female, guess what you came out as? The Queen of Cups person. And if you are in a relationship or partnership, then this is both of y'all. You and your partner. This is how y'all came up. Okay? So nobody can ever deny the fact that somebody really did bullshit towards your business. And you still came out with new beginnings. And all the liars look like is damn fools. Including the practitioner that they paid all that money to. Because remember, these people that lied on you and paid practitioners to fuck with your business also paid practitioners for relationships and for pregnancies. And the universe is coming to knock all that shit over. So you remember that every problem has a solution. And for you to stay in divine flow. Private, personal career readings are available. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.